COBRA subsidy and the American Rescue Plan Act Part 1, we discussed who is and who is not eligible for the COBRA subsidy. Today on COBRA subsidy Part 2, we will cover who is paying for the COBRA subsidy and the penalties for non-compliance. To recap, the COBRA subsidy is available for certain individuals and is based on the employee's enrolled plans prior to the qualifying event and may include medical, dental, and vision benefits. The law also includes subsidy for many COBRA laws such as CalCOBRA. COBRA subsidy eligible participants must elect to participate as the enrollment is not automatic. So who is paying for the COBRA subsidy? If the employer has 20 or more employees, either fully insured or self-funded, the employer is responsible for 100% of the COBRA subsidy plus the 2% COBRA administration fees beginning April 1st through September 30th, 2021, or until they are no longer eligible for the subsidy. If an individual's COBRA continuation coverage is set to expire on June 2021, the law does not require the COBRA subsidy to be extended through the end of September. Tax credits will be issued to the employer against the quarterly Medicare taxes. If the credit exceeds the premium, a refund will be available. Penalties for non-compliance. The Department of Labor will be monitoring the compliance on the American Rescue Plan Act. Employers may be subject to an excise tax under the Internal Revenue Code for failing to satisfy the COBRA continuation coverage requirements. This tax can be as much as $100 per qualified beneficiary, but not more than $200 per family for each day the employer is in violation of the COBRA rules. Individuals who become eligible for other group health plan coverage or Medicare are required to notify their plan administrator as they will no longer be eligible for the COBRA subsidy. If they do not notify the plan administrator, there's a general penalty of $250 per failure. However, if the failure is intentional, the penalty can be the greater of $250 or 110% of the amount of the subsidy. Stay tuned for the COBRA subsidy and the American Rescue Plan Act Part 3, where M&J Insurance Solutions will be discussing action steps for the employer before May 31st, 2021. If you are an employer who would like a review of your employee benefits program and benefits compliance, please contact M&J Insurance Solutions.